So you want to record nice cinematic videos or time lapses of your Minecraft world to share on YouTube or share with your friends? Well, I got just a thing for you. It's called Replay Mod. It's a mod which allows you to record your Minecraft world. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install it, how to set it up, and how to actually record and get a video from it. First of all, you will need Fabric. Fabric you can easily download at this link, fabricmc.net. We're going to need the mod itself. The link is replaymod.com and FFmpeg. This is to render the videos you recorded. All of these links will be in the description. So first of all, you need to start with Fabric. Go to download here, download for Windows, click on the installer. Now choose the Minecraft version for me, it's 1.19.3. Your loader version, click on install. Done. Uh, now, a lot of mods require you to uh, put the Fabric API, so we're going to do that now. Just get the Fabric API, click on download, wait for it to come up. If you do use another version in here, so you do not want 1.19.3, you want another version, make sure you actually choose the versions here under files. But for me, it's 1.19.3, so I'm just gonna click on the normal download. Gotta click show on folder. Now, you're just gonna Windows R, type this in there, percent app data percent, click on OK, go to Minecraft or mods, and drag that in there. There we go, now we got that set up. I don't think replay mod requires the fabric API, but other mods in the future, it's just good to set it up. So now that we got that out of the way, we need replay mod. Replay mod, link will be in the description again. Click on download now. Here are all the versions. Make sure you choose the right version. If you use a different version, then we'll choose that. There is 1.8.9. If you do PvP and you want to make a PvP montage, you are going to have to download Forge. Forge, you just click on this link and download that here. Again, if you want to download it, go to 1.8.9, then here, and download it here. Here's installer or if you use lunar client for pvp which most people use i'm pretty sure replay mod is already integrated in there so you do not need to do that also any other versions below 1.14.4 requires forge so let us set it up but again i'm going to go with 1.19.3 click on download i think it's downloading when it's downloaded just drag it into your mods folder and then you're done with that now you can go ahead and start your fabric 1.19.3 instance in your Minecraft launcher you should have a fabric loader something like this uh, in your Minecraft versions. If you do not have it, you go to new installation and make sure it is here because well, sometimes it doesn't actually create a new installation. You have to create it yourself. 1.19.3, but for me, it already made it. So I'm just going to use that. Also, you can change the name under edit and call it fabric 1.19.3. There we go. Now go, go to play. Wait for it to start. It's going to take a bit longer for the first time. All right. Now, when your Minecraft has started, you should see this little button here. This is the replay viewer. You can go up to the settings and uh, turn on automatic recording also there's a recording indicator in game I'm going to show it to you uh, I recommend you turn it off because it is quite big and annoying but for this world here I'm just going to create something new I'm just going to leave it on so you guys can see in the recording when I'm recording in game and when not so also automatic recording is quite nice if you play only single player and only on one world because then you do not forget to turn on your recording as you can see at the top left I am recording right now the world's loading in also vanilla performance kind of doo-doo i do not have any optifine right now if you want more fps in minecraft go and check out my other video on how to get more fps so as you can see recording uh you can click here on stop recording or pause recording if you i don't know want to go get a tree or some seeds i don't know or you just do not want to record you're just doing something very boring you can just pause the recording make sure to resume it you do not have to stop the recording uh, before you leave unless you want the multiple recordings in one sitting if you just want to leave the world just leave the world it's going to stop your recording automatically and once that's done you get this prompt here saving replay file you can i don't know type iron farm finished i don't know you build, let's say you built an iron farm then you go to replay viewer click on it load and now you are going to have this little video of you just running around and doing this now if you want to well just have your camera stand still in one place just position your camera by the way you move your camera by pressing escape and then if you want to access your cursor press t also here are all the keybinds i recommend you learn these and then if you want to move your camera again press escape with t you can just go for example in the beginning set so in the the beginning all right uh, that's second zero that's fine click on add a new keyframe this is the beginning of your uh, thing and the uh, keyframe you need a keyframe as well now let's say you want your camera to slowly go to this tree while the recording is happening you're going to position your camera where you want it to be then you're going to go to the end of whatever you want i don't know maybe you build multiple stuff so you're just going to go to the end for me it's here click on another keyframe and this then put your playhead at the beginning and click on play camera path then you're going to see how your camera has moved for me now, I do not want my camera to move so fast to the right, so I'm going to go like this, add a new keyframe in there, and then click on play again. 
the camera is still moving too fast the tree doesn't really look in focus i'm going to focus my camera a bit more on the tree and then make another keyframe here and if we go into the beginning now you can see my camera is a bit more focused on the tree and it's moving very slowly the rifle because my player is going to come in in here now it can move a bit more because the tree is already in the middle oh okay that was weird and that is going to be my cinematic let's say i didn't just break a tree let's say i built a whole iron farm or i don't know something we're going to have to go to render camera path uh, i recommend you use a custom bitrate mp4 you can also use mkv if you want to get some lossless quality this is basically doesn't have any bitrate stuff it's just like how the file looks but most video editing programs support mp4 so i'm going to just use mp4 i recommend a bitrate of 10 if there is nothing special going on if you have a lot of snow like i do in this clip i recommend you turn up the bitrate because it's going to look very very blurry and it's not it's not great so 30 or 40 megabits per second is fine if you do record in a 4k there are some other bit rates you want to use or in any other resolution i record in 1080p so 15 megabits uh, looks fine uh, you can go further up to 30 or 40 i do not recommend you go any more than 40 because then the difference is so so little you cannot even notice it so i'm gonna go with 10 for now output file you choose where you want it to be for example maybe i want it to be choose the user uh let's say on my desktop that's fine then call it iron farm click on save there we go now you can render the name tags as the name above your player you can do chroma keying if you actually like used some green clay blocks you can use that as a green screen to make like a, some cool intros in your stuff i'm not going to go into that now uh t stuff this is if you want to record a vr video actually you can do that and post like a vr video on youtube where people can just use their mouse to drag around and look around your world that these are pretty cool anti-aliasing you can turn that on here i do not like to use anti-aliasing in minecraft because well it's minecraft a bit of blockiness it's fine now if you're going to click render oh you probably do not have ffmpeg installed so you're going to have uh, to install ffmpeg so i'm going to show you how to do just that first of all you go to ffmpeg.org go to download click on windows build for windows you're going to go to windows builds uh, go to the first it's the easier one to use here you have your whole builds don't get won't get overwhelmed by these these are pretty easy go to mirror at github this is the easiest one you can get the essentials build or the full build you can get the 7-zip file but you need to install 7-zip i will just get this zip file so you can extract it with WinRAR or well windows without any programs um now replay mode does not require you the full build so you can just install the essentials build you can install the full build if you want to use ffmpeg for something else but for replay mode you do not need a full build it doesn't change anything so just install this now click show in folder uh, let's drag it actually to my desktop and where is it it's here all right go to show more options if you're on windows 11 if not then just extract uh to ffmpeg if you have winrar if you do not have winrar uh, just click on extract all and here you're going to choose where to extract them um, just do this this is fine extract now you should have this thing here well uh, these are now two different folders i'm going to just drag this to the desktop and then you only have one folder uh, also make sure to change the name of this because you're going to have a very long name and you do not want that you're going to see in a second why just make it ffmpeg that's fine ffmpeg go to bin and here you have ffmpeg.x you're going to right click on it or show more options or if you're on windows 10 just properties and you're going to have to copy this file location or you can just double click in here and choose this file location but i'm going to go for this one because well it's from the actual file and you cannot go wrong with it make sure it's, it's ffmpeg.exe if you do not see the .exe file you can go to view and then show uh, file name extensions and on windows 10 it should be somewhere here there's like a start and view and stuff and there should be like a checkbox somewhere here with show file extensions uh now that's fine it's called ffmpeg go into your minecraft again and just paste that file location in here then you're going to do this reverse slash and type ffmpeg.exe because we want to use this ffmpeg application to well render our stuff after you did that well you're done you can just click on render and it should work and after you have rendered your video i'm going to actually render it now it can take a bit you can also show a preview but this takes performance as you can see it takes now like 28 29 30 seconds 24 
if I close this, uh, you can see it going down quite faster. Yeah, and now it's like 15 at 15. Also, this is not very noticeable here because I'm working with seconds. If you're going to have a bigger clip, it's going to be minutes or hours, depends on how long. Also, you can only make videos 30 minutes big. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to use replay mode, you can let me know in the comments below. And now, as you can see, desktop, it should be here. Here's the video that I just rendered. That is it. You can just open this in your video editor and then just edit it or make a time lapse out of it. And that is pretty much it. So if this video helped you out, don't forget to like, subscribe for more tutorials like this in the future or other videos. I'm Wise and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.